Hi, my name is Tomasz Poszetek and in this video I would like to showcase you a feature that I somehow underestimated recently um, that is called Format Data by Examples. It is uh, a new feature that arrived to Cloudflow's like right before Ignite and um, I recently found it very useful. So let me just showcase it to you. Okay, so we here I have um, not just a copy of the Cloudflow. It doesn't matter what is it. Um, it's just a part of the RPN day package. So it will be triggered once the new email arrives. Um, it will then extract some information from documents and it will then send email and post an adaptive card and wait for the response. So just let me show you uh, how it will work and what I actually want to do with that uh, with that content and how I will, how I would like to show you how the format data by examples work. Uh, I just I just uh, sent myself an email, so like in a moment, this flow should be triggered. Okay, so the workflow now is running. The point is that the um, the email it contains an in, an attachment, and this attachment contains I mean it's it's an invoice, and then data from this invoice should be extracted, and and uh, the entities that were extracted should be sent over uh, to another email but there is one information that the power the, the air builder can extract in multiple ways so let me just show you this um, this attachment that I'm using here in this scenario so this is the file right and this file here uh, contains a total value and this whole value uh, sorry this balance due and this balance due sometimes is being extracted like with just a dollar sign uh, and then the, and then the amount sometimes with dollar sign amount and USD. The, my, my goal is that I just want to have the number extracted out of this out of this um, document so um, and then to use this number uh, in further processing. Let me just go back it is still running because it's waiting for the approval obviously. Yeah, let me just complete the approval. So uh, here is the adaptive card that has been sent, and you can see that it contains the dollar uh, for I mean the, the dollar with the amount. So I'll say approve uh, just to complete the workflow so that it doesn't it doesn't wait for whatever. Fine. Okay, and here when I expand the extra information from documents, well, I see that the total value is this uh, dollar sign. So now what I would like to do is to simply get rid of the dollar sign, and um, eventually, because I, I learned that this happens as well sometimes, uh, is to get rid of the USD. So now what I want to do is to use the format data by examples and to show you how this can be very easily done. So let me just add a compose action. And within this compose action, I want to use an expression. However, I might be a very fluent in writing expressions, but still, when thinking about how to get rid of this first character or and how to get rid of those um, last three characters, you know, you might like to challenge yourself, but with format data by examples, it's much easier. So let's start. I hit the format data by examples. Now I want to use the total value as the information I want to work with. And then I would like to change this, for example, um, four comma three, six, whatever, three, two, three, one, Point twenty four something, and what I want to get in return is just that for oh, and it even suggests suggests me what I can get in return. So what I want to get in return uh, is actually the very very number. And the second example that I have will be the same, but with USD at the end. And again, what I would like to get in return is again the same number, just a pure number. And so now with that, you, you gave the uh, functionality some examples of what is the input data 
and what is the expected output. And now while I hit the get expression, it is uh, generating me the full expression I can easily use. So now let's test it if it will be working. Yep, test, awesome. The second one, yep, it works as well, right? Because I have here the full expression that both copies, the, that the both modifies the uh, first and the, and the second one example. And so what I can now hit is just to apply, which will simply put this expression straight into Compose. And so with that, I will now use this Compose and I'll just put it here. So there is a place where I would like to send, um, where I would like to display that value and I'll add just USD. Oops, I'll add just the USD at the end so that you'll see uh, it's a bit different to what it was in the first place. So um, that is being saved. I will now forward myself the email with the attachment again. Okay, the email has been sent. Uh, so just let's wait for it to arrive. Yep. So there is there is the item. Um, and uh, yeah, let's just wait a second uh, for the adaptive card to be sent. So it should be really now. Yep, there it is. And now once expanded, you see that the value has been reconverted. So it's now displaying, I mean, it's now displayed as a number with a USD at, at, at the end. So uh, that expression actually worked. And well, that's basically it. So what I wanted to just showcase you is that you're really able to make even the most complex transformations by using the format data by examples that really simplifies the work that you have to do. Uh, and then it doesn't really requires you to understand and know the expressions because all the work is done for you. And as far as I've been using that, it really works very, very well. Anyhow, if you have any questions, if you'd like to, you know, ask me uh, some, well, if you'd like to ask some questions to, to the video or to any other than simply write them down below the video and well, thank you for watching and until the next time, oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.